Question 431. Is it permissible to use tax dodges? Inventiveness in dealing with complex systems of taxation is morally unobjectionable. It is immoral to evade taxes or to commit tax fraud. In other words, to falsify, fail to report, or conceal facts so as to prevent a correct assessment of taxes due. Remember when Jesus said, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. By paying taxes, citizens contribute each according to his ability so that the state can fulfill its duties. Therefore, tax evasion is not a petty infraction. Taxes should be just and proportionate and should be levied by law. With that said, taxes should not be more than a person can pay without infringing on their ability to pay for basic necessities. Question 432. May a Christian speculate in the stock market or in internet stocks? A Christian can speculate in the stock market or in internet stocks as long as he does so within the parameters of normal business practices for prudently investing one's own money or someone else's money and does not thereby break any other commandments. To speculate in stocks basically means buying some kind of stock with the goal of making profit out of it, even with the high risk of losing it all. For example, buying stocks from GameShare when it's cheap with the goal of selling it when the price of the stock seems to be high would be speculating. So you can speculate in different stocks as long as you're being honest and still following the commandments. Speculating in stocks becomes immoral when dishonest means are used. For instance, Insider information, meaning you'd know exactly if a stock will escalate or crash based on different factors. It's also immoral when the transaction puts one's own or another's life savings at risk. Instead of ensuring an income and especially when such speculation becomes an addiction as with games of chance. Question 432. May a Christian speculate in the stock market or in internet stocks? Vandalism and deliberately damaging public facilities and common property are forms of theft and restitution must be made. A famous Russian novelist from the late 19th century 
named Leo Tolstoy said, Every time you acquire and use an object, reflect that this is a product of human work and that if you consume, destroy, or damage it, you destroy that work and thus consume human life. In a nutshell, when people vandalize and destroy public places and common property, they're destroying other people's work. They're also stealing the public places from everyone else because now it's destroyed and no one else can use them. In that situation, they need to make amends through a form of penance granted by the justice system. Either through fixing the damage financially or manually, or serving time in jail. Hi, I'm Katie Locus. This is my sign name. I'm from the Archdiocese of Kansas City in Kansas. Thank you so much for watching our video this week. Hope to see you again next week. Bye!